and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be doing a build video where we're focusing on just a singular pack. So today it's going to be Island Living and we're going to be building in Solani, which is the world that Island Living comes with. And the only objects that we'll be using is Island Living objects and base game objects. Okay, so I just finished doing the outside of the house. Everything that I've done on the outside is all Island Living. So you've got the roof, the roof trimming, the colors of the walls, the stairs, the foundation, and the flooring on the, the decking as well. So yeah, all of that is Island Living. And yeah, obviously we're going for a sort of like beach shack kind of vibe because that's essentially what Solani is and that way I think it's the best way that we can use all of the things that come with Island Living. I have been sleeping on this but Island Living comes with these sliding doors which I never use and would be so good as like a back door but I just never use them so I've really just been ruining that for myself. <laughs> I think that looks really sick. And I'm gonna chuck some on the back too. I feel like I might do these sliding ones on the back just because I wanna be able to like use both. And I feel like that's a nice way to let some fresh air through coming in from the ocean. What is this? A sliding door. Oh, that's like an interior sliding door. See, I've just been sleeping on all these objects. I'm gonna put it on all the rooms because I actually really like it and I think it definitely fits that beach shack kind of vibe. I actually really, really like that. There's also this door as well. And it looks like this which is also really, really cute and would be really nice if like, you know, you were building like a laundry or something like that and you wanted a laundry door or something a little bit less shacky, I guess. <laughs> Plus there's also this double archway, which is literally huge and I can't find a home for it. There we go. Yeah, I think that's really nice if you wanted to just have a little open space. So I'm gonna go straight to the flooring for the interior. Uh, again, that should be pretty, actually, I'm gonna do windows first because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is like an open window. This is also a bit of an open window. It's really small, would be great for a bathroom, I reckon. And I like this one too. There's also these long ones which match that back door that I put on, which is really nice. And these ones too, which are very open. Pretty much all the windows here are open because the weather's always nice, but you also have these window pane ones as well. I'm gonna try use some sort of a mixture. How the mixture is gonna go, I'm not yet sure. Cause there is this one too that I like, but it doesn't sit even. Maybe I'll put that one there, that one there. Oh yeah, the window panes like match the door. Okay. Well, I might just make the wood a little darker. I could put those there. It's a lot of glass. And then on the back, I might put some more of these. Oops, I need to change the color again. So it looks like that. And then what I'm wanting here for this main bedroom is for them to have like a lot of open space so that we can, they can like, you know, soak in the morning sun and soak in that beach sea breeze. I might do this window. And then on the bathroom, I will put these little ones with the little sort of flaps on them. I don't like that word at all, but had to be used. Yeah, I think that's it. It might be nice to try and fit this in, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So I could use that there for the kitchen. I think that's a nice mixture. I might just see if I can change the color of these to match a bit better. Yeah, nice. I don't like that that's not symmetrical, but I mean, what can I do about it? The Sims just really be doing that to me. I might get another window for the bedroom though, because I do want them to obviously have the open space that they can enjoy. Oh, I might pop this one on the side actually, and then have these. Do I want those or do I want the full like glass panes? I think I'll do that. I kind of like that combination. Yeah, that's really nice. And then we need to do some interior paint. We've only got the exterior paint, which is the wood. So I feel like we could just obviously continue with the shack vibe maybe and put that on the inside. But again, I don't know if that's going to be too much, but it definitely goes with the shack vibe. I might have to change the color of these doors though, because they don't really go. Yeah, I'll just make them a little bit lighter. Let's just say it's like a semi-luxurious shack. <laughs> semi kind of. Flooring. Almost forgot flooring. I'm just gonna put these in because like I said, it's a shack. We're going for a shack vibe. So now we'll go into furnishing the interior. I'm gonna start with the bathrooms because bathrooms are always easy, don't take a lot of time. We don't have any toilets that come with Island Living. I thought we did. I thought we had one that was like an off the grid toilet, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'll just pop this base game one in. Oh, we have an outdoor shower kind of vibe. That's cool. Yeah, I'll just use that. I'll pop that in both of the bathrooms. Oh yeah, this is the main bathroom. I forgot what was happening with my house. Does it come with a bath? It does. The ensuite is going to get a bath over this nice window. I really actually like that. Put the toilet in the nook there. We need some good old TP. I feel like it comes with a screen or something. Uh, screen mist decorations. Does not. Are you sure? I'll keep my eye out for that because I feel like it definitely does. Anyway, Island Living base game. It definitely comes with a sink. Do I want to put that next to the, no, because it's a sliding door. What an idiot. Now it just looks out of place. Do we have any benches or any? We definitely have benches that come with Island Living because we could still have like a bathroom bench space and then just like a separate 
sink. I kind of hate that though, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is an ensuite, so I need... I need the door to be coming in here. Let me just move that to over there. We will need a mirror. Island Living doesn't come with a mirror, so we'll just use a simple base game one. Does it come with any rugs? We've got one rug. I don't think we want to use... Oh, no, we've got two rugs. We've got this one too. Now, it's really small though. This could be a bath mat. Maybe. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. Okay, this one doesn't need one, I don't think. That'll do. Let's see if there's any wall paintings or anything. Is there not? Oh, what's this? So there's a little watery. This is new, isn't it? Anyway, I don't know. Island Living doesn't come with any paintings. I find that so obscure. Well done, it's gonna be a pretty plain house. We might have to put some base game ones in. Does it come with plants? It does come with plants. We will put one in the bathroom just cause it's really nice. Let's do the bedroom. It's gonna be a two bedroom house. It'll have like a kid's bedroom, teen bedroom or something. And then we'll do the adult's bedroom. I think I'll put the bed there. Do I wanna go like colorful or do I wanna keep it simple? I kind of feel like I wanna go colorful. Uh, we do have a bedside table. We've got two bedside table options. That looks really nice. I didn't put my move objects on on, so I'll see if I need it. <laughs> do we have any more plants? We do. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, that's really nice. Do we have a dresser? We've got a dresser. Oh, we've got two dresses. Should I change the color? Yeah, I don't know if that matches, but okay. We don't have any mirrors or anything, but I will grab like a full length mirror. I find it weird that it doesn't come with a mirror because it's... Like, I feel like it would be really nice to have like a semi islandy theme mirror. Doesn't really go, but it's fine. We'll grab a rug. The rugs are really cool. Does that match? Oh, I love the blue. I think we'll use this one. Oh, that just doesn't go though. All right, I think we'll use this one in here and then we'll use another one for the living room and then it won't be as obvious that it, like we're using the same rug. I'm gonna pop another window here because this room didn't have a lot of light. And then we're gonna do the second bedroom, which will just have a single bed because I'm assuming it's going to be a kid's room. We do have three beds that come with this pack. We have this single bed and this single bed. Obviously this is nicer, but I kind of like it matches the other bed. So I think it would be nicer to, yeah. And this is more of like a kid's bed. What other swatches does it come in? It comes in pretty cute swatches actually. Like I really like that one. Maybe we'll do a teen girl's bedroom. So we're gonna need another full length mirror. I'll pick a different base game one and we'll grab another dresser. So I'll use, one that's different from the other one. We need a plant. We use both of our plant options, so we're just gonna recycle them, I imagine. This does come with ceiling fans, so I might actually put the ceiling fans in the bedrooms. Cause I feel like if you're gonna want a ceiling fan anyway, you're probably gonna want it in a bedroom. And then do we have any curtains? We've got these. What's happening with this window? There we go. We do have some shutter curtains. These are really cute and I feel like they fit perfectly on this window at the front so I might just chuck that on both of them so they kind of match and that way we're also utilizing another item. We also have these really nice ones which I never use and they look really cute. Yeah it comes with a lot of lush ones but none of these fit on these windows so we won't worry about that. We could put that there. Is that too much? Yeah I think we'll leave that. Back to the teens room. I'll see if I can find another rug that will match in here. I think that matches. Can we size it up? No. It's such a square rug. It's like... Where do I put it? I don't know. It's a weird shaped sized rug. Do we have any desks or anything? We do have a desk. Well, we'll give the uh, teenager's room a desk for studying purposes. And do we have any chairs? We do have a chair. And we'll pop that there like that. Um, I really need to put some lights in because I just realized how dark this is and I'm sorry if that's been annoying you. But I almost forgot about lights because we've got so many windows. All right, do we have any lights? We've got these that are really nice. We've got this, which would be really cute. Yeah, I like that. We've also got an illuminated carver bowl. Maybe I'll put that in the bedroom. It's like a candle. Then we've got a canopy candle, which is pretty cute. Might just put that in the bedroom as well. And we've also got, this is actually a really nice wall light. Maybe I'll do this hanging over the, the side tables. Yeah, that's really cute. And we've also got lamps and tiki torches, which I could put outside. Not like tiki torches, but they're like lamps. Oh, we've also got a bonfire. Whoa, it's huge. Maybe we could put that outside or something. Well, that's pretty much all the lights and I just used them all. <laughs> I forgot that we need to put a bedside table in the bedroom here. There we go. All right, it'd be nice if there was like a small plant that we could put on the side table, but there really just isn't. 
Is there seriously not any paintings that come with this pack? Not a single painting. I find that very interesting. we just do that one. Well, I think this is this room finished. I might put this next to her bed though, so it's like that. Let's do, should we do the kitchen? Where is the kitchen going to go? I might have to put it in this little corner. Can I drag this out? No, not really. All right, let's do the living space, which is quite large. And I know that we have couches and chairs. I use this couch quite often. I think it's really cute, but we've also got this one, which I don't use often. So I don't know, like, maybe we should just put this one outside. But this one seems very, like, lush. We're making, like, more of a beach shack. So maybe we'll just use this one. We can put this one outside. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna do that. I don't wanna use the same couch that I'm using all the time. Uh, let's plop it down. I might nag another window somewhere. Yeah, just one. There we go, that lights up that space a little better. All right, I'll pop a lamp in the corner and maybe grab a ceiling light for in here and in here, and then also pop one in here. I don't know how I feel about having a TV in this kind of house. I feel like a lot of the beach shacks that are in, that like come with this pack, don't come with a TV and they have like nothing fun to do. Like we're not living off the grid. We just, we'll get a small TV because like, you know, it could be seen as a luxury or whatever. I really like this table. I might use that outside. That's right, we had to change the color of the couch. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And we'll get a small TV because beach shack vibes. We'll grab another rug. Is there a blue? That could go nice. I like that. We'll grab another plant, pop that in the corner. All right, apparently we've got blue vibes going on in here. Whoa, that's huge. Whoa, what is this? Oh my God, it's a whole shipwreck. What is this? Part of the shipwreck. It's like the only decor stuff we've got. I just popped another light in the kids' room because it is really dark. Or well, the teens room. I don't think it's a kid because there's no toys in there. <laughs> I might just put that little curtain there too because that's really cute. Yeah, I like that a lot. Back to the living space. Do we have any bookshelves? No bookshelves. Okay, I'll just pick one. I'll just put that there. I thought it came with a bookshelf. No, we'll grab an easel as well because why the heck not? I might put it in the family room. I'm just gonna quickly suss the outdoor stuff. We've got a volcanic barbecue syrup. Oh, we've got these little sunbathing things. We'll get those little sunbathing things. Fair enough, legs. I think that's the color that best goes anyway, so we'll just get that one. Uh, I've got a little outdoor seating area, like an outdoor table. I think there's like some sort of pool. Yeah, I'll just delete that because I'm pretty sure you can put these there we go all right 10 years later I worked out how to get this ladder situation in the game my god okay so that comes with island living as well oh you can't have any like fencing there okay well gonna fall off all right, so we've got this little ladder thing that took me like 10,000 years to work out, but I finally got there. We do have like these too, which are really nice. What are these called? Columns. Yeah, we've got these really cool columns. I might put them on the house for like a nice detail because they're really nice. Can I be placed? I'm not putting it in the ocean. I'm whatever. All right, I'm going to go back and get that couch that we saw. Oh, that's nice. I like the blue. I do like the pink a lot. And then I might get this large rattan table. Rattan, rattan. I don't know how you say it. And then we'll get one of these cheros because I love them. I also might get one and put it in her room. Does she have space for that? Just cause it's cute. I don't know. I also might put some in here. Go off sis. So I just made this little like seating area out here so they can, you know, look out the window if they want to. And then over here is the easel. I just moved that. I've also got this little like wicker chair. I might just Pop that in there as another chair. Uh, I don't, I don't know. And then onto the kitchen. So we've got all these lovely benches that I definitely use because I really like them. They're really good for bathroom benches and stuff, I find. Do you want to choose a darker one or a lighter one? Let's just choose like a medium. I want the white tops, yep. Yeah. My auto counters are not on. All right, we'll chuck a stove there. Doesn't come with a stove, so we'll just chuck in a good old base game one. And then we'll also chuck in a base game for ridge, I feel like I need to pick a cheaper oven because, oh no, oh, maybe I will. Yeah, because that kind of fits the vibe more. We will grab one of these because safety. We've got a carver bowl, so we'll chuck that in here. Any other decor items? We've got a giant balloon. We've got this banner. Should we just put that there just because? 
It's not like we got anything else to decorate with. We will chuck a little fruit ball here. Okay, so I just found these like glass panes and I tried to put them in the bedroom, but there's not enough water underneath the bedroom there. And then I'm like, where can I put these like out here without it being weird? Like I really like them and I think they're really cool, but I just don't think that the water is like deep enough. So we probably just can't use them but they do come with that and they're really cool oh we do have this room divider as well it doesn't come with the pack it's base game but it's really nice oh we also got like a little tiki bar thing oh that's nice oh this is the divider panels it comes with oh right okay well can i put that in the bathroom or is that too much it's low-key kind of too much isn't it okay there's also a random treasure chest i don't know where to put it though we're getting overwhelmed by all these items that i never see there's also this shade awning Okay, I think I'm gonna use the shade awning and not this stupid thing and pop it over the table like that. We'll do that color. Okay, we don't need this tiki bar. Wait, 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 what did I just see? This, this is cute. Okay, I don't know where I can put it though, but it's just really cute. What colors does it come in? Not a lot of colors. It's really cute though. I literally just have nowhere to put it. Kind of want to put it in the bathroom and get rid of this giant modern one. Is that weird to have that in there? I put the sink there like that. Okay, I don't know. I kind of just want to use it, so I'm just going to put it there. The outside space is so random, but I kind of just wanted to use a couple of like really cute items. So we're just going to leave that as it is. We've almost got the kitchen all done. I'm just going to chuck in a base game sink. I'll do the, like a nice one. Because why the hell not? We need a bin. The game it does come with a bin. It's a really big bin. Is that the outdoor bin? I don't know. It's an outdoor bin. Okay, well, I will put one out then. We do need a letterbox. It doesn't come with a letterbox. So we'll just chuck that there. <laughs> I feel like we should get a barbecue. It doesn't come with a pack, but I feel like we need one because we don't want to use like this barbecue pit because that's a bit interesting. Oh, we can chuck these in the ocean and a jet ski. It's a beach shack, like and just relax. Oh, we've got towels. I might just pop this in the ocean. Do you want to change the color? Ooh, that's cool. All right, I think I might just leave it at that and then see if I can put, it does come with hanging stuff. They're just fish. Oh, we've got this too. Okay. It does come with stuff. It's just not in the art section of the freaking catalog. Okay. Well, I feel a bit better about that. I might just reselect a different pattern. Ooh. Oh, we've got a giant spoon and fork. Love that. I don't know why anyone would want that, but okay. Ooh, we've got like a neon palm sign. That's cute. It doesn't come. It comes with base game, but that's cute. And then we just need a little dining area, I'm pretty sure. And then I feel like we're done. It does come with a dining table, which is cute. And I know that it comes with chairs cute okay well i think that's kind of everything i want to put in it oh it comes with this bar okay that's so aggressive oh the outside how can i forget the outside okay i think i'm gonna leave it at that because i'm getting a bit carried away there's a lot going on i feel like i used a little bit of everything oh, it's a pink tree okay i'm getting distracted so this is the house here this is my self sim we're gonna do a little tour i just kind of kept the furnishings really simple and everything because it's a beach shack so i didn't want to like overcrowd it but we've got a little fire pit here we've got all of the plants that come with the game we've got these little cool light things that i found that are really cool then you come into the living room this is what we're after, I just gave them a small TV because I don't think they'd want a big TV in the beach shack. A simple kitchen, the main sort of bathroom, a teen bedroom in here, or just a spare bedroom. Then we've got the ensuite, which is like super big and luxurious. And they've got a bath and a little toilet and a shower, obviously you need that in a bathroom. And then this is the main bedroom again, which is quite big and like semi-luxurious considering it's a beach shack. It's one of my favorite beds. I think it's really, really cute. And then you come outside here and this is a bit of a hot mess, but I kind of just wanted to put a bunch of the items that you can get in the game as well as some normal gameplay items. So we do have this outdoor seating area along with some little tanning beds. Well, not tanning beds, but chairs that you can lay on and sunbathe in. <laughs> uh, a little outdoor seating area. And then I also just put an easel and a barbecue because I feel like that'll suit the vibe of the area. And then we have this thing here where you can cannonball, climb down, climb up, swan dive, jump down, stuff like that. And then we've got our little floaty toy down here in the corner. But yeah, that's the, the house. I used like pretty much all the items. The pack itself comes with heaps of items as well as build mode objects and stuff like that too. So yeah, I think that's really good to know. And they're all pretty like nice. Obviously a lot of them are very like beach themed, but there's some things that you can use in normal gameplay as well. Like I definitely use the beds and those like rattan chairs. Is that how you say them? I don't know, but I use those too. And I'm definitely gonna use those double sliding screen doors again because I kind of forgot that they existed. 
So yeah, I think that's one of the really good things about doing a video like this where I build with a specific pack because then I relearn and find items that I don't normally find amongst all of the other items you have in the game. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon.